Good evening and welcome to Owen TV's coverage of Dragon Sports. Tonight we have a special varsity swimming where the Rochester Adams comes in to take on your hometown Lake Orion Dragons. Now this is a very exciting meet for this evening as you see Rochester uh, Adams getting all hyped up for uh, the upcoming races. Both teams are very well known on the state scene. The Dragons last year finished ninth in Division I at the state meet with 109 points and returned many of their state scoring swimmers, while Adams in Division II was fifth overall at the 2013 state meet, scoring 143 points, led by Nicole Pape, who scored in all of the events she swam, and she will also be um, a force to be reckoned with this evening. But the Dragons are no slouches themselves, having their 200-yard uh, medley relay, which is the first event. They have three of their four returning swimmers from that state qualifying and 13th place overall Division I state uh, finish team from a year ago. Now Lake Orion will be swimming in the odd number lanes while Adams will be swimming in the even number lanes. As you see, Lake Orion relay B, A, and C will be taking place. Now Lake Orion's uh, A relay is Sarah Hennings, uh, Lydia Matar, Zin say Natalie Zinea, and Danielle Kudla. Adams Relay A is uh, Jamie Miller, Nicole Pape, Claire Lendenfurter, and Crystal Karras. Now we lead off with the backstroke, followed by the breast and fly and finishing with the 50 freestyle. Dragons out to an early lead on the strong backstroke of Sarah Hennings, just 15 years old. Dragon still up to a nice lead. Hennings doing a very nice job. Jamie Miller, the backstroker for Adams, trying to hang around. And here's the exchange. Lydia Matar does the breaststroke for the Dragons as Nicole Pape hits the water for Rochester Adams. Nicole Pape is a very, very gifted uh, breaststroker. 50 backstroke for Lake Orion was 28-23, a blistering time. Six tenths ahead of Adams. Lydia Matar holding her own here against Pape, doing a nice job extending that lead. Outstanding swim, and now the butterfly leg. Nally Zanea for Lake Orion hits the water. Claire uh, Lengenderfer for Adams. Nice pace for Lengenderfer. And she's closing the gap on Lake Orion. It is a dead heat right now. Adams just a hand ahead of Lake Orion. Currently the last exchange here coming. And Adams has a slight lead. Danielle Kudla in the water for Lake Orion. Crystal Karras in the water for Adams. And Karras is pulling away from Kudla. Again, eight points scored for a winning relay. Dragons. B relay teams need to do something here to try to get another place. And it looks like Adams will be taking it. Crystal Karras coming from behind to beat Lake Orion. Karras, last 50, 24, 52, just six tenths, a hundredths ahead of Kudla. Lake Orion, actually it's Adams finishes in third. Adams relay B in third to take the final scoring of this relay event. As you see, the Lake Orion relay finishing in sixth in 215.93. That was Hannah Quinn finishing up for Lake Orion in lane seven. Outstanding swim for both squads with uh, Lake Orion actually taking a Division I state time in 157.0, but it is Adams that takes the lead. Jamie Miller, Nicole Pape, Claire Lendenderfer, and Crystal Karras take it at 150.32, which will be a very nice time for Division II. And, of course, that is a state qualifying time on the Division II side of things. Adams takes 1-3, excuse me, 1-3 and 4 in the relays. Big points for Rochester to start out this meet. The next event is the 200-yard freestyle, eight links of the pool, 
In lane one, Lindsey Brent from Lake Orion. Lane two, Mackenzie Cole from Adams. In lane three, Kristen Abassi from Lake Orion. In lane four, Teresa Rivera from Adams. In lane five, Bethany Abramchik from Lake Orion. In lane six, Lisa Kong from Adams. In lane seven, Jessica Reichman from, uh, from Lake Orion. And in lane eight, we have Adams, Ella Yazbek. Now something to know here, uh, both uh, Abassi and Abramchik are state meet qualifiers on the Division I side of things, with uh, Bethany taking sixth overall at the Division I state meet just a year ago. But uh, Kristen Abassi is no slouch either. She took 10th place overall at the state meet. Both Lake Orion swimmers are expected to do well. You can see Coach Abassi stacking this event, hoping for a 1-2 finish. And all swimmers in this event are taking it out very nicely. Now the 200 is eight lengths of the pool. And it's one of those in-between type of races where it's not quite a, uh, a marathon that the 500 is where you, it is all about pace and, and timing and that, that sort of thing. But the 500, or the, excuse me, the 200 is more strategy. You break it down into 50s. So how are your 50s, uh, your, your splits on your uh, 50 yard times? And basically, you keep that pace. And sometimes, when you have the luxury of having a teammate, well, as Lake Orion does with a, a Bassi and a Branchek, you can play off one another to help each other keep pace. Now, as expected, they're way out front. The Dragon's very strong in the 200 uh, free relay. Excuse me, 200 free. First 50 for Abassi was 27.76. Abramchik was 28.01. In third place is Mackenzie Cole of Adams. Her first 50 was 28.12. And we're on to the 150 mark. And looking at these times so far, Abassi's doing a nice job of keeping her pacing pretty even. Very close to one another, and I would assume, I, I don't have the actual qualifying sheets from Coach saying who's already qualified for state meet, but a brand chick, or excuse me, a Bassey is on pace to uh, make state cut time here this evening. Dragons will easily go 1-2 with uh, Adams coming in 3-4-5, so a Bassey takes it in 158.06 for a nice six-point earn for the Dragons with Abramchik coming in 158.82, just three-tenths off the state, qu state qualifying time. Lake Orion swimmers in this event. Jessica Reinchen in the pool. And Lindsey Brent. Looks like Lindsey Brent finishing up there. Nice effort there by the swimmers in this event. 200, always a difficult event. And Lindsey Brent finishes in 225.71. And here are the final, final official results here. Abassi takes it 158.06, a Division I state qualifying time. Abramchek 158.82. Mackenzie Cole 201.96 for Adams. Alyssa Kong 202.36 for Adams. Teresa Rivera 203.79. Jessica Reimchen for Lake Orion. In sixth place at 229.67. Nice showing here for Lake Orion, and the X's next to those numbers are exhibition, so they are non scored. And it's good to see the Dragons get 1 2, so that is 10, point, 10 points for the Dragons. And the next event, the 200 yard individual medley, where the individual swimmer will swim uh, 50 yards of each discipline, back breast flying free. We start with Adams in lane two with Jamie Miller, Nicole Horvat, Horvath in lane three, Nicole Pape in lane four for Adams, Lydia Matar in lane five for Lake Orion, Johanna Lohner in lane six for Adams, and Amanda Keller in lane seven for Lake Orion. And swimming exhibition is Madeline Welsh for Adams in lane eight. Now Nicole Pape, again, we see her name up again, a very strong breaststroker, and usually the uh, swimmers who have very strong specialty strokes end up in the IM. So if you can swim the backstroke well, the butterfly well, and uh, your breaststroke, you're going to be swimming the IM. And it is a very difficult race. 
One of the most demanding races here tonight. Again, we start off with a butterfly, 50 yards of butterfly, and Adams looks to start out in the lead. Nice crowd on hand for this dual meet. Cole Pape out early. 28-1-2 for the first 50 for Nicole Pape. Outstanding split for that. After that, move on to the backstroke. Looks like Lake Orion is currently in third place. Or is that Matar in second? It's going to be close. Lake Orion's in the odd number lanes. Nice shot of the Lake Orion swimmer right there. I believe that is Nicole Horvath. Adams really pushing it out front. Lydia Matar hanging around in second place. Her back time, 50 back time was 34-44. Now we're onto the breaststroke. At this point, your lungs are burning pretty severely. And you're just looking to survive to the last 50 free. Nicole Pape in control of this one. Matar close behind on her heels on the turn. Let's see what kind of energy she has for this last 50. Nicole Pape pushing it out there. Lydia Matar finished 19th at the Division I state meet last year with a time of 2.12.57. We'll see how close she is to that time when she rolls in. Both swimmers are going to have be well under the state cut time. And Pate pulls it out in the end, way out front for the final 30. Her split was 30.49. Lydia Matar takes second place for the Dragons. Her last 50 was 31.06. Johanna Lohner for Adams comes in. Her last 50 was 30.50. And Jamie Miller for Adams rolls in for fourth place. Nice solid swim by all the, the uh, Dragons and for Adams, and then Nicole Pape does take it in 209.67, easily eclipsing the Division I state cut time, which Adams is a Division II team. So Lydia Matar, 212.38, she's under that state qualifying time. Jo Johanna Lohner, 214.39 for Adams. Jamie Miller, 216.11. Nicole Horvath, 228.45 for Lake Orion. Amanda Keller, 228.93. And an exhibition was Mel uh, Madeline Welsh at 219.65. Again, Adams goes 1-3-4 for big point scoring here in that individual race. Next up, we have the 50-yard freestyle, a very fast event. Always a fun one. And the Dragons are in lane 1s, 3, 5, and 7. We have Adams in two with Aaron Santella, Lake Orion, Natalie Zanea in lane three, Crystal Karras, we saw her already today, in lane four, Danielle Kudla, they're gonna go head-to-head -head once again in lane five, Adams, Alexa Graff in lane six, and Lake Orion's Claire Wono in lane seven, I hope I said that correct, and Mackenzie Humphrey in exhibition swim in lane eight. Now we have Crystal Karras and Kudla going head-to-head -head at it. And Kudla was a 28th place finisher in the uh, 2013 state meet, Division I, with a time of 25.29. But she's gone 24.92 in the prelim, so she has it in her. We'll see how this one comes out. And they're off. The 53, it is just a sprint, all out sprint. How fast can you go? Kira says a slight lead, just a half a hand, and a quick turn. Kudla trailing. Natalie Zania in a close third. Dragons are really pouring on. 2-3 would be nice here. And too close to call. We'll have to wait for the official, but it looks like Crystal Karras may have taken Kudla down by just a half a hand. We'll see what the finals are. 
And the official results, uh, Crystal Karras takes it at 25-1-5 with Danielle Kudla in second at 25-5-8, just shy the state qualifying time of 25-1-9. Natalie Zanea, 25-8-7 for Lake Orion. So Lake Orion goes 2-3. Adams takes Al uh, fourth place, Alex Graff at 25-8-9. Aaron Santella, 26-0-4. And Lake Orion's Claire Wono, 29-7-0. So Adams goes 1-4-5 to take the points. So that's that for the first half of swimming. One meter diving is next. Stay tuned. You're watching ON TV's coverage of Dragon Swimming. Stay tuned. I need help. We can't survive without heat and water. Oakland County Community Resource Day, November 19th. I'm homeless. How do I get health insurance? I'm getting evicted. Stay safe this winter. For help with housing, state IDs, eviction, and other critical issues, come to the Oakland County Community Resource Day. There is help. And welcome back to Owen TV's coverage of Varsity Swimming. One meter diving is next. We have Jessica Stevens from Adams, Abigail Slater from Lake Orion, Lenny Kim from Adams, Lauren Young from Lake Orion, and Jessica Woodman from Adams. And finally, uh, the final uh, Lake Orion diver is Darcy Munns. About ready to get diving underway as they get everything situated. They have to move the flags and the ropes out of the way. And we got to keep an eye on the Dragon Divers, Darcy Munns, Lauren Young, and Abigail Slater. And up first, we have Jessica Stevens of back dive half twist in the free position. Nicely done. Nice control in the air. We'll see what the scores are here. Four, five and a half, four, four for 22.95. And next up, Abigail Slater, four leg Gorian. Little over rotation there for Slater on her front dive half twist in the free position. Do we do difficulty on that one was 1.8. Looks like they're having issues with the scoring, so um, we're already at a loss here. So I saw some hand signals being waved, but we didn't quite get those of the score. We'll see if this uh, technical issue continues throughout the meet. Front dive, half twist, or front flip and a half twist in the free position, nicely done. Nice dive there before Lake Orion. Lemmy Kim up here for Rochester Adams. Again, we're having some difficulty with the scoring. Yeah, Lemmy Kim is uh, the class of this group tonight, it looks like. Nicely done. Five, six, and five and a half for 28.05. Oh. There's a noise and stopped her uh, beginning of her dive. Let's see. Nice control into the air to hold that one in. Nicely done for the Dragons. Hmm. 
five and a half, six and a half, and six. Nicely done for Lauren Young. 30.6. Lauren Young put a star next to that name. Nicely done on that dive. Fifth diver I have is Jessica Woodman for Rochester. Um, they're all diving the same dive, so this is the required for this meet. A little short on that entry. But a good effort overall for Woodman. And five and a half, five and a half across the board. 28.05 is her final score. And if you're... If you're wondering how the scoring goes, you see a degree of difficulty and your total score is added and multiplied by that degree of difficulty to get your final score. So the more difficult the dive, the higher degree of difficulty, the higher reward. Nice elevation on that dive for Lake Orion. Is that Darcy Munns? Five and a half, five, five, nicely done. I believe this is Stevens. We're at their second round of dives. Nice entry there for Stevens. A little Far away from that diving board, but it was a nice effort overall. Five, four and a half, four and a half, 22.4. Abigail Slater here for Lake Orion. A little short on the entry with the large splash, but nicely done. Good execution. And she should score nicely on this. No doubt about it. Degree of difficulty is 2.2, so 33 points for that one dive for Slater. Nicely done. This is Lemmy Kim here for Rochester. Little over rotation there as she entered the water. But again, that is a difficult dive. 2.3 is the degree of difficulty. Ooh, six, four and a half, four. So uh, quite a range in scoring on that one. But uh, I don't think uh, Miss Kim will be complaining. Lauren Young for Lake Orion is next. Looks like she almost lost her balance uh, while she was getting ready. <laughs> She's smiling to her teammates saying, I held on. Five, four and a half, four and a half. Nicely done at 32.2 on that one dive. Jessica Woodman. Nice, calm delivery there on that dive. A little short on the entry, but it was nice and smooth and in control. Four and a half, four, five, 22.95. Darcy Munns for Lake Orion. Nice execution. Solid entry. Some distance from the diving board, but it looked really nice. Five, four and a half, four and a half, 23.8. So Darcy doing a nice job there for Lake Orion. Inward tuck. Jessica Stevens, it's our third round of dives. 
And four and a half, five, and a six, 26.4. Nice score there for Stevens. Abigail Slater up for Lake Orion. Little over rotation on that inward tuck, uh, but she held it together and kept her arms down. And 4-4-5, four, 28.8. Four, so Slater, nicely done there. Lemmy Kim, and as these dives go along, usually the higher quality of divers start bringing out some of their more difficult dives, and we'll see which Lemmy Kim does. Nicely done by Kim. A little short on the entry, but inward one and a half in the pike position. Five, four, four and a half, 2.4 degree of difficulty, so 32.4 on that one dive. And she currently sits in first place after her third dive. Lauren Young for Lake Orion. Trying to keep her balance there. We're at one and a half in the tuck position and she executes a nice entry. Nice rotation in the air as well. Four and a half, four and a half, five, 30.8. Nicely done by by Young, Lauren Young, nice job right there. Two solid dives in a row, very good. Jessica Woodman for Adams is up next. And we're diving the pike position, nicely done. That should score very well. Seven, five and a half, six. I think that five and a half is a little low, but hey, very nicely done. Jessica Woodman, Woodman brings out uh, one of her best dives of the night. Darcy Munns for Lake Orion. Solid dive here, could keep her in second position. Inward tuck. One and a half, a little over rotation, but nicely done. She kept it close to the board. Should be nice, six, five and a half, six and a half, 39.6. Nicely done by Darcy Munns. Jessica Stevens starts the fourth round. Five, five and a half, five and a half, 25.6, steady as she goes. Abigail Slater up next for Lake Orion. All these divers are very close together. Um, within uh, 10, 15 points of each other. So it's gonna be close to see how this one uh, plays out. Slater needs a strong effort right here. Back dive, pike position, nicely done. Little short on the entry, but that's nitpicking. That was very well done. That dive is more difficult than you think. Five and a half across the board for 26.4. Slater doing a nice job. Lemmy Kim up for Rochester. Nice job, nice height on that dive for Lemmy Kim. We'll see what the score is. Six, six and a half, six and a half, 
Again, Lemmy Kim's degree of difficulty is slightly higher than the rest of the field, so she's going to start piling on points at a quicker pace than everyone else. Lauren Young for Lake Orion. She's had a nice uh, round of dives so far tonight. Reverse flip in the tuck. Nicely done. Point those toes at the end. He might get a half more point. Five, five and a half, five, 24.8. I like what Young is doing tonight, doing a nice job, steady every dive. And here's Jessica Woodman. Uh, sat down a little bit at the end of that one, but got her arms down. Four, three, four and a half, 19.55. She was drifting back a little bit and sat down at the end in the water, and that was uh, what really got her. Darcy Munns for Lake Orion. First flip, nicely done. Coming up a little short on the end of her hurdle at the end of that board, but she's four and a half, five and a half, and a six, 27.2. Darcy continues to uh, pile on the points here, and she's uh, just behind Lemmy Kim. One and a half in the pike position for Stevens. Four and a half, five, five and a half, 25.5. Reverse in the tuck position, nicely done. Abigail Slater never liked doing reverse. <laughs> Five and a half, five and a half, six. Nice score there, 27.2. I was never meant to do flips in the sky, so I stuck to the pool. <laughs> Lemmy Kim looking to extend her slight lead. Nicely done, one and a half. In the pike position, difficult dive, had nice rotation and finished strong. Six, six and a half, six, of course, 48.1. And that really pushes Lemmy into the, uh, Lemmy Kim into first place. Lauren Young up next, she's done a nice job tonight. Nice entry. Strong dive again. Five and a half, six and a half, six. 30.6. Nice score there for Young. Jessica Woodman here for Adams. Nice job there for Woodman. Five and a half, six, six, 29.75. All these uh, divers are very close together. So here's Darcy Munns for Lake Orion, currently in second place. Strong dive here is uh, a must. And she delivers, nicely done. Darcy Munns continues the uh, consistent uh, showing tonight. Five and a half, six, five and a half, 28.9 for that one dive. And she's within striking distance of Lemmy Kim. That last dive of Kim was a huge score. So we'll see what uh, Lake Orion can do. Jessica Stevens for Adams. Ooh, didn't quite rotate around and paid the price. But uh, she made it around. That should be scorable. Sometimes if you're too short, they'll call a fail dive. But we'll see what we have up here. Degree of difficulty is 2.2. Judges are talking about it. 
Still no display of the score. They might be discussing whether or not it was a, a legal dive or not. Still in a holding pattern, not sure. Discussion continues. And and they're going to say she passed. So one across the board for 6.60. So it's a not failed dive. So that's good. Obviously, uh, Jessica's been working on that one. It might be a new dive to her repertoire. So anytime you add a new dive, it could be difficulty in competition. So Abigail Slater here for Lake Orion. Back flip in the free position with a half twist. Nicely done. 5-5 five, five across the board. 25.5. Nicely done by Slater. Lemmy Kim, a strong dive here. Can extend her lead. There it is. One and a half with a half twist thrown in for good measure in the pike position. Tough dive, a little short on the entry, but they'll score well. Six, four and a half, five, 20, 34.1 on that dive alone. So Kim extending her lead on her last two dives, really upping the degree of difficulty. Lauren Young for Lake Orion. Nicely done there for Lauren Young. Four, four, three and a half, 25.3 points for that dive for Miss Young. And Jessica Woodman up for Adams. Little rough entry there for Woodman. She comes up short on the end of that diving board. Sometimes that can throw off your timing. Five, five, four and a half, 31.9. Judges uh, like that one. Darcy Munns for Lake Orion. Darcy looking to try to keep pace with Lemmy Kim. And delay on the award, suspense, 4-5-5, 32.2. And the results of the diving, Lemmy Kim takes it with 219.7. And Darcy Munns of Lake Orion, 178.05. Look at that bunching, the Lake Orion divers. Nice close bunching there, and they take two, three, and four with Lauren Young and Abigail Slater. Jessica Woodman from Adams. And Jessica Stevens for Adams closes out the scoring. So good job on the diving. Congratulations to the girls and Lemmy Kim for taking first place. We'll be back after this short timeout with the second half of this meet. You're watching ONTV's coverage of Dragon Swimming. The Orion Lighted Parade is a tradition that ushers in the holiday season here in the Orion area. Families line the streets in the village to enjoy this festive event. But it wouldn't be possible without the Holly Jolly Folly. This year's fundraiser is scheduled to take place on Friday, December 5th at Golling Buick GMC, located at 1491 South Lapeer Road. Enjoy live entertainment, a silent auction, a cash bar, and a 50-50 raffle. Food will be provided by Italia Gardens. Tickets are $35 per person and are available at Golling Buick GMC. For more information, call the Orion Area Parade Group at 248-802-5521 or visit orionlightedparade.org. Welcome back to the second half of the swim meet here. The next event is the girls' 100-yard butterfly. In lane one, we have Aaron Barrow. Lane two, Julia Seitz. Lane three, Natalie Zanea. Lane four, Claire Legendurfer. And lane five, Sarah Hingis, Hingings. 
<laughs> lane six, Adrian Goins. Lane seven, Zoe Quinn. And lane eight, Sonali Singh. So lane one and eight will be exhibition for Lake Orion and Adams. Only the two through seven will be scored. So let's see, 100 fly, Sarah uh, Hennings placed 10th in the Division One state meet with a time of 57.67. So uh, she's obviously the top butterflyer here for the Lake Orion Dragons. Let's we'll see, see how she does in this event tonight. Dragons in need of a win badly here. And they're off. Good start by all swimmers. No false starts. Good to see. Rochester Adams is up and working right away. That is Claire Langendurfer. Tight grouping, even dead even at the first 25. Nice, strong, and fast turnover by Sarah Hennings. Let's see what the first 50 split is. Hennings taking a uh, early lead here. Lightning's first 25 is 27-7-4. Langendurfer's 28-3-6. And look at Henning. She's starting to stretch it out. This is where your legs really start to burn. Coasting the wall there in that 75. Let's see how she can close here. Nice lead here. Close to a body length lead. Third place so far is Julia Seitz from Adams. Natalie Zanea in fourth. Dragons looking to get some points here as e Sarah Henning easily takes it in First place, 58-7-9, unofficial. State qualifying time for Hennings. As Lake Orion finishes up here. It's Aaron Barrow. Swimming exhibition in lane one. Close race all for all as Barrow finishes there. And we'll get the official results here, but Hennings takes it easily. First place, Sarah Hennings, 58-7-8, in a Division I state qualifying time. Lengender for, for Adams takes it 101-18. Uh, Julia Seitz for Adams. Again, Adams goes 2-3. Natalie Zanika. Um, Zinka, 102-35 for Lake Orion. Adrian Goins from Adams takes it 104-58. And Zoe Quinn from Lake Orion finishes in 106-48. Great swim by Sarah. Six points added to the Lake Orion total. Total of eight points earned. Up next is the girls' 100-yard freestyle. Four lengths to the pool. Lane two for Adams. Mackenzie Cole. Lane three for Lake Orion. Eliana Ritt. Lane four for Adams. We have Crystal Karras once again. Lane five, Lake Orion has Danielle Kudla. Lane six, Adams has Aaron Santella. And lane seven, Lake Orion's Lindsey Brenz. And lane eight swing exhibition for Adams is Audrey Wang. And we saw Cuddle in the 100 free against... Uh, or in the 50 free against uh, Crystal Karras, and it was a very close meet and uh, a race, excuse me. And Cudla, let's say in this event, finished 20th in the Division One state meet with a time of 54-38. And we'll see how this matchup meets out once again. Cudla and Karras head to head. One, you, one thing you see is if you're in a similar class, the same faces show up at your meets year after year, and you start to get a rivalry going with the same swimmers. And here we go. Cuddle and Karras off. Let's see if Cuddle can get uh, revenge for that 50 yard. 53 loss there was a close one, maybe by half a hand. So far, Crystal Karras has the lead, pulling away early. State meet qualifying time for Division One is 54 79. First 50 for Cuddle is 27 1 8. Crystal Karras, 26-3-1. Negative split needed here for Kudla. Danielle is looking to hold on to second place there for the Dragons. Adams, uh, Aaron Santella pushing for second place. Kudla's got to dig in. Too close to call. Can't see from this angle. It looks very close. Karras takes, but how do we come out in second place? Not sure. As the final swimmers come in, we have Mackenzie Cole for Adams in fourth, Elena Ritt, Lindsey Brent, and Audrey Wang finishing 
That was a close one for second place. Dragons need some points. And the final, as we see it, Crystal Karras takes it again, 54-5-4 official. That is a Division I state cut time. Danielle Cudla just misses it. Just one second off on the nose from a Division I state cut. Um, Aaron Santella, Mackenzie Cole for Adams take third and fourth, respectively. Uh, Elena Ritt, Eliana Ritt for Lake Orion finishes fifth to round out the scoring. So Adams again, first, third, and fourth, big points for the Highlanders. The next event is the 500-yard freestyle. 20 links to the pool. Lane one for Lake Orion is Emmy Maddock. Emma Maddock, excuse me, run, uh, swimming exhibition. Lane two for Adams is Teresa Rivera. Lane three for Lake Orion is Kristen Abassi. Lane four is Adams' Hannah Barrick. Lane five, Lake Orion's Bethany Abramchik. And lane six, Adams' Adriana Wack. And lane seven, Lake Orion's Jenna Kesserling. Kesselring? Hope I say that right. Uh, we have to watch out for Abassi and Abramchik again. Very strong in the 500 free. Uh, we saw the two uh, Dragons go head-to-head -head in the 200 free, so in the 500, it's another matchup of the uh, very strong distance swimmers for Lake Orion. Uh, Abramchuk finished sixth overall in the Division I state meet with a time of 5.05.23. And Abassi was 15th overall at the state meet from a year ago. And they're off. 20 lengths of the pool. Now this is a, a considerably different um, event than the 200 free. This one is kind of break down your event in hundreds. And usually you have your coach standing on the sideline, waving you on, giving you a thumbs up, saying, yep, you're on pace. But a lot of this at this uh, stage of your swing career with these girls swing at such a high level, it is muscle memory at this point. And what we're going to see is the, the front grouping of three with Abassi, Abramchek, and... Got to find my sheet. And Adriana Walk from Adams. They're going to try to stick together as close as possible. Um, just keeping an eye on everybody else. Side to side, but it's just pretty much a group mentality, keep together, and then... However, their strategy is, as determined by coach, is that they'll decide to either pick up the pace and uh, or sometimes they like to push the pace out front early to try to tire out uh, the competition early and then take it home and just really close the door. So right now it looks like Abassi's uh, starting to up her tempo just slightly to uh, gain a slight lead. As you see, Bethany Bramchik, she's uh, matching Abassi. Nice solid turns by both Lake Orion swimmers. Currently in fourth is Hannah uh, Barrick from Adams. Here's some splits to take an eye on. Abassi and Abramchik were just one-tenth apart on their first 50. And three-tenths apart on their second. And one-tenth apart on their third. So finishing 200 here. Dragon starting to stretch it out with Abassi really taking it now. Up in lane one. Who do we have up in lane one? Give them some pub for the nice effort there. That's Elizabeth uh, Choi from Lake Orion, 14 year old. Swimming exhibition, doing a nice job. Excuse me, that's Emma Modoc. Swimming exhibition in lane one. Here, say down in uh, lane seven, we have Jenna Kess Kesselring for Lake Orion. 14 year old, assume she's a ninth grader. It's always nice to swim in the finals heat. Dragons doing a nice job of extending this lead. Bassey and Abramchek doing the part uh, coach asked them to play tonight in their events. If this can hold, that's going to be some uh, nice points for the Dragons if uh, Dragons can finish 
one and two. In swimming meets, a lot of the time, it's not about uh, finishing first. It's really the, the depth on the team. How can you do in the second, third, fourth, and fifth slots? Because even if you don't get first place, but you take two, three, four, you outscore your opponent by a hefty margin. Dragons have depth at the uh, distance swimming here, so unless something crazy happens that we're looking at going one, two, which is a 10-point addition to the Dragons uh, point total. Dragons would love to get into that fourth slot. Abasi out front, starting to pick up the pace. Bossy doing a nice job of keeping a steady uh, 50 free pace here. 32-6-1, 32-2-3, very, very consistent. The Bram check doing the same thing, 32-5-9, 32-1-9, 32-5-4. Adriana Walk for Adams is far behind. That horn indicates the final 50, and they're going to pick it up now. That last 50 for Abasi was 31.89, so a negative split with the Branchek sitting at 32.20. Final 50, you're going to give it all you have. Dragons should go easily 1-2 with Kristen Abassi taking the lead and keeping it about midway through this event and finishes in first place with the branch check a solid second. And if this holds up, nicely done. Abassi attains the Division I state cut time. She's under the 5-18-7-9 mark. Bramchek is just under two seconds off the state cut pace, but we know she will attain that if she hasn't done so already. Abassi, nice swim. She was 15th at the state meet last year at 5.15.13. As lane one continues to finish her race up there and near side, lane seven. Another 50 to go, I believe. Emma Modoc and Jenna Kesselring. 500 is a tough, tough go of it. You might not think so, but 500 yards is uh, <laughs> a lot longer than you think. Let's look at uh, Jenna Kesselring. Her uh, splits are 34-2-2 um, at her fastest, slowest at 42-2-4. And there's Kessel Ring uh, finishing right there at 647-0. And Emma Modoc swimming exhibition, doing a nice job coming home strong. Doing a nice job of uh, finishing strong here for the Dragons. Nicely done. 41-09, her last 50 split there for Modoc. Official results here for the 500. Abassi takes it easily, 5.18.46, and qualifies for the state meet. Abramchik at 5.24.2. Walk, 5.25.31. Barrick, 5.27.52. Teresa Rivera for Adams, 5.33.01. To round out the finals there. Nicely done, and I'm sure we'll see um, strong showings again for Abassi and Abramchik in the state meet. Coming up on, I have the date for that, Friday and Saturday, November 21st and the 22nd at Eastern Michigan University. That pool is a very fast one in the state, very deep and very fast. And here's the girls' 200 free relay, always a fast one. Uh, each swimmer will swim 50 yards of the pool. Adams in lane two, Lake Orion in lane three. Adams A in lane four, Lake Orion A in lane five. Adams B in lane six and Lake Orion C in lane seven. 200 free late for Lake Orion, finish six overall at the state meet. And they have three of their four participants back this year from the state meet just a year ago, going 
Corner free relay in the pool. Qualifying time is 142.89. Dragons have lots of sprinters on this team that can do a lot of damage. Dragons are looking for a win in this event. They need something to get some points on the board. Currently, they're trailing. Nicole Pape in the lead for Adams right out of the gate. How many times have we mentioned her, t her name tonight? Adams in the pool. Dragons in the pool. Natalie Zanea, first split, 25-9-6. Holding second place. Dragons cutting into that lead, though. Natalie Matar, the second leg of that race, is really coming home strong and taking away that, that lead that Pape drew for Adams. Dragons going to take the lead here at the exchange, neck and neck. Abassi in the water. She just swam. She's got to be gassed, but she's out in the 50. Very strong, taking the lead. She's taking it to Aaron Santella. And the Dragons take the lead. What a turnaround in this event. They were half a body length down, and the Dragons are really flying now. And a brand check. In the water, fourth for the Dragons. Showing speed and power. Going up against Crystal Karras. We've seen her in the 100 and the 50. The winner of that one, Abramchek's going to have to bring this one home strong because we know what we have in Karras. Dragons hanging on to that lead. Karras a little bit too much. Dragons take it. Huge win for the Dragons. Eight points their way. And the state cut time, 140-78. Two seconds under the state uh, cut time. Nicely done. Dragons Relay B currently in fifth place. Amanda Keller, Claire Wono, Jessica Reimchen, and Hannah Quinn doing a nice job. And we'll see the official results. Yes, 140-78 easily breaks the... Uh, they cut uh, Mark there, but Adams, look at Adams. Two, three, and four. So six points for Adams, eight points for the Dragons. And unfortunately, we see uh, Lake Orion Relay C disqualified. Now, disqualification can occur if uh, the exchange is not made properly. If the swimmer left the block before the previous swimmer touches the wall, so there's a DQ there, but a nice solid swim for the Lake Orion Lady Dragons in their A relay and a solid swim for Adams at 141.10. That is under the Division I time, so they're gonna be making some noise in the Division II state meet soon enough. 100 yard backstroke coming up in lane one. Exhibition is uh, Michaela Collins for Lake Orion. Lane two for Adams, Allison Zwang. In lane three, Lake Orion, El Eliana Ritt. In lane four, Adams, Jamie Miller. In lane five, Lake Orion, Sarah Hennings. And lane six, Adams, Johanna Lower, Loner, excuse me. And lane seven, Lake Orion's Zoe Quinn. 100 yard backstroke, my favorite event. Used to love swimming backstroke back in the day, a long time ago. Always fun. The thing about the backstroke is all the, the swimmers must keep their feet in the water. And. Nice start here by all competitors. We have four in contention right out of the gate at the 10 yard mark of this uh, swim. 25 yard, we got four still in contention right at the turn. My goodness. Still five in contention here. What a field. This one's too close to call. Looks like Adams is holding on to one and two so far. This is a close one. Jamie Miller for Adams has got a nice lead. She's extending it here, but two, three, and four are in doubt. We'll have to see what happens. Adams looking very strong. They could go one, two, three in this event, which would be disastrous for the Dragons. Very close, very close. Sarah Hennings pushing it, pushing it, trying to get there. And it looks like a one, two, three finish. Huge points for, for Adams. Sarah Hennings looks like fourth. Eliana Ritt fifth for the Dragons. And up at exhibition, we have uh, Michaela Collins for the Dragons. An official, yes, 
One minute 2.29 for Jamie Miller. And look at those times. Very close together. Nice bunching. They go one, two, three. Big points there. That's nine points for Adam. Sarah Hennings comes in um, in fourth place. Excuse me, fourth place. That's two points for them. Um, and Elena Ritt, Eliana Ritt. And to round out the scoring, coming in fifth. So the Dragons uh, took a hit there. Six, 10, 13 points for Adams on that one event. That's a huge swing. And to see if they can get it back here, we have the girls 100 yard uh, breaststroke. In lane one, in exhibition, we have Claire Wono. In lane two, Adams, uh, Claire Langenderfer. <laughs> in lane three, Lake Orion's Amanda Keller. Lane four, Adams, Nicole Pape. In lane five, Lake Orion, Lydia Matar. Lane six, Adams, Mackenzie Murphy. In lane seven, Lake Orion's Nicole Horvath. An exhibition in lane eight for Adams is Madeline Welsh. All right, 100 yard breaststroke. What do we have on the breaststroke? Uh, Lydia Matar, the strongest for the Dragons, as we know. That's why she's in lane five for the Dragons. She was 10th overall at the state meet with a time of 106.53. And she was only three one hundredths of a second from making this championship finals last year. So we know she, it's in her. We see if she can bring out a W tonight, but she's going up against Nicole Pape. We've seen her all night long. Very tough competitor in the specialty events. Neck and neck again. I think we have a battle of epic proportions tonight. Lydia Matar and Nicole Pape going at it. Looks like Pape has a slight lead here at the turn. Each swimmer needs to swim their race, though. You don't want to get wrapped up into where my competitor is. You have to keep an eye on them, and sometimes you have to turn on those jets to keep close, but it looks nice. Just turn by Nicole Pape to extend that lead. First 50 is 31 7 3. Matar slightly behind by a tenth. 31 8 4. Pape pulling ahead slightly here. Now, here's the. This is where you find out how. What a turn. My goodness, Nicole Pape. Very, very strong off the walls. Amanda Keller for Lake Orion currently sitting in fourth. We'll see if that holds as Pape will take the win with Matar close behind. And if this is correct, I'm looking at the state cut time. Matar is in handily to qualify for the Division I state meet. As Claire Wono finishes for the Dragons. Nice race here for the Dragons. Nicole Pape again, out a blistering time, 106.25. But Lydia Matar at 107.29 qualifies for the state event, the state meet. Uh, coming up here on November 21st and 22nd, Adams McKenzie Murphy is third. Lake Orion Amanda Keller is in fourth place. Claire Lendendurfers rounds out the scoring in fifth with 111.46. So Keller just out touches. Langendurfer uh, in that race. So nicely done by the Lake Orion Dragons, but an impressive swim again by Nicole Pape. Next event, the finale, the girls 400 freestyle relay, one of my favorite events. And I know it's always a crowd favorite. In lane two, Adams Relay C. And lane three, Lake Orion's B Relay. And lane four, Adams A Relay. Lane five, Lake Orion A. Lane six, Adams B. Lane seven, Lake Orion C. And in lane eight, Adams D. So we're going to see uh, the Lake Orion A and Adams A go head to head again. Kudla, Sarah Hennings, Abramchek, and Abasi for the Dragons in A. Lake Orion B is Brent, Barrow, and I got to get my sheet. <laughs> Graphics come and go. Well, let's take a look at this. Uh, the 400 free relay again returns three of the four state qualifiers that finished six at the Division I state meet just a year ago, swimming 334-37, which is very quick. State cut time is 347.09. And we're off. Danielle Cudla for the Dragons, 100 yards per swimmer. It's good to have a very strong freestyler to lead you off. Aaron Santella for, for Adams is holding her own there in the pink cap down at the bottom. Actually has a slight lead on Kudla. 
That might be the angle. We still have another 50 to go. Adams holding strong. Cut a slight lead just by a couple fingernails. Adams in the second and third slot right now as Cuddle is turning it on. Cuddle with a half body length lead, nicely done. Should be close to 55 for her 100s exchanges made. Hennings in the water. Hennings is new to this uh, relay. She's the new member of this relay and she's got wheels. The 15 year old, look at her go. That first 25 was blistering fast. Alexa Graff for Adams is in the pool for Relay B with Teresa Rivera in the lane right next to uh, Hennings. Dragons extending their lead. Hennings doing a nice job. You can see why Coach Abasi put her in this event. She's got speed to burn here. Extending that lead now to a full body length. Strong turn by the Dragons. Allison Zwing for Adams is in the pool. Michaela Collins is in the pool here for Lake Orion. Exchange here. Third, Bethany Bramchek in the water. And you know what you get with a Bramchek. You get a seasoned veteran and a leader on this team. 56-1-4 for Sarah Hennings. 56-9-9 for Alexa Graff for Adams on their second leg and Dragons in command here. Looks like Dragons B relay is being lapped at the moment. Nice 50 time by Abramchik, 26-2-7. Fastest 50 so far in this heat and uh, Abassi will be the anchor leg and usually that is your fastest swimmer depending on how when you want to stack your relay. The Dragons are on a tear Again, state cut time is 3.45.09. And if everything holds true, they should be within striking distance of that pretty easily. Anchor leg is in the water. Kristen Abassi in the water for the Dragons and continuing to extend that lead. Just dominating performance. 55.26 was uh, Bramchick's uh, 100 time in her leg. Dragons are flying tonight. See what the 50 time is for Abassi. Nicely done, 25-7-4. Fastest of the four. Pulling away now, turning into a blowout. Again, Rochester though is sitting at second and third and fourth for that matter, but race, the uh, relays are only scored through third place. Kristen Abassi, blistering time, what will she break? She break 53. 54.08. Time 341.30. And that is easily under the state cut time by three seconds and some change. So the Dragons are going to the state meet in the 400 free relay. Nicely done. But Adams takes second and third place for six points. Dragons get eight points on that. Nice depth for Adams all meet long as the uh, B and C relays for Lake Orient finish up here. Nicole Horvath for the Dragons, the anchor for Relay B, and Sarah Michalik is the anchor for Relay C for Lake Orion. Good to hear the uh, good sportsmanship and solid teammates there on the sideline cheering their teammates on to finish their races. Solid swim there for the Dragons. And the finals, Lake Orion takes it, 341-3-0. But Adams goes 2-3-4 to close out the scoring. Nice solid swims by all the relays involved. And I'm sure Adams and Lake Orion are pleased to uh, achieve their stay cut times and move on to uh, postseason play. And the Dragons are looking to make some noise. Again, hopefully for another top 10 finish, if not higher, 
um, with all the experience they have coming back going to uh, the state meet for 2014. Again, we encourage all of our uh, Lake Orion uh, viewers to uh, make plans to head out to that state meet. Uh, November 21st and 22nd, again, here's the final. Adams takes it 108 to 83 over your Dragons. It was a uh, solid meet for the Dragons. A uh, little more uh, quality swims in the 2-3-4 area for Adams as they get the final score. And rightly so, cheer it on. It's always uh, a big day when you come into uh, the Dragon Natatorium and knock off the Dragons at home. Doesn't happen very often. But uh, again, the state meet is up next for the Dragons at uh, late November. So keep an eye on these Dragon swimmers. This uh, production is brought to you by Orient Neighborhood Te Television. I'm your announcer, Ian Lockman. I thank you for tuning in. We'll see you next time on ONTV's coverage of Dragon Sports. Good night, everybody.